400 years back, to be precise, 1665, was the period when um, Isaac Newton, I'm sure you, you all must have heard, uh, that was a time of plague. We didn't have uh, the microscope. Um, people were not knowing about the bacteria, the virus, and things like that. That was when, um, again, the plague had uh, ravaged the city of London. So um, Newton had no way but to, you know, to go back to his uh, uh, fields and then, you know, get quarantined in his home there. But what did he do? Quarantine, we are all. I mean, all of us are quarantined in our own respective homes. Um, but he ensured that he used this time for the passion, for the love that he had for science. Um, so he resorted to his pursuit of love for science and the rest is history. All of us know that uh, the uh, yeah, Newton's Principia, um, everyone is aware of the, the, the Newton's gravitational laws. So that's where uh, uh, he was able to find the, the, the concept of gravitation. So here, um, having a telescope here, and uh, we're able to, we are now uh, positioned at uh, Jupiter, and we, we can now see three moons of the Jupiter. Um, very soon we are going to hand over, um, um, shift to the, the uh, telescope now. Thank you again. Uh, you will be able to see three moons as of now. The fourth one, uh, which is uh, Ivo, um, is going to be seen uh, very soon. Uh, I mean, it's going to take some time. Uh, you know, the Jupiter is one of the most important uh, planets. Uh, um, the three moons that you are seeing um, are all, in fact, all the moons, about 60 plus moons, they are all named by his concubines the king uh, of uh, Rome's uh, concubines. Now, uh, what you can see is three of them. Um, I think my colleague will immediately shift on to his, uh, his telescope now. I think you are able to see the, the moons now. Okay. I think you are able to see three... The largest um, moon you are able to see the Ganymede. Um, the size of this um, satellite or the moon of uh, Jupiter is so large that, uh, incidentally, it is uh, bigger than the, the nearest planet uh, to the solar system, which is uh, Mercury. I think you were able to see that now. Uh, one thing I would like to tell you that we will not be able to answer all your questions uh, because. Uh, because, you know, we're sitting on the terrace where we are unable to read uh, very closely on the mobile that uh, we have. Uh, we will try and ensure that subsequently we will be able to answer all your queries. Okay. Right now, 
and uh, whether in India or other parts of the world. Waiting with my child. Oh, thank you. Ruchi Raji. Good morning, sir. Yeah, the, this much maximum resolution we can achieve using our 5 megapixel next image camera which is attached to 8 inch telescope. Yeah, this is a direct live feed and uh, right now you are seeing uh, Saturn. It's a one of the brightest objects in terms of magnitude, so you can see it using a naked eye. The only difference without telescope, we can't distinguish exactly rings. Where you are live right now? Yeah. And, uh, oh, thank you. Once again, you are live from uh, joining from London. Thank you so much. And this is our humble request to you all. Please do subscribe, like, and follow our Facebook page so that whenever we are announcing such activities, we are doing many things so you can enjoy those programs. Good morning, Dr. Jyoti. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Sopnil. Watching here. Yeah. Arvind Achrikarji, good morning. So, we are, we are live with the second largest planet in our solar system, Saturn. And the very interesting part of this planet we also call jewel of the jewel of the solar system and this space cell recognition goes to this planet because of its beauty of its beautiful rings there are many rings that are broadly divided in two parts inner rings and outer rings but they are also classified but that's okay we will be more general today so that everyone can enjoy or sub log is kind le sakte hain yeah, it, you can see in southeast. Uh, right now it is uh, around uh, 35 degree. आप ऊपर की तरफ देखेंगे और अगर अमूमन हम आम तौर पे बात करते हैं तो बस आप जाइए east और south के ऊपर जाके देखिए कि सबसे bright और उसके बाजू में एक कम bright का object थोड़ा सा आपको दिखेगा.